common trimming technique that editors rely on to tell their stories is the split edit. A split edit, by definition, is any edit where the endpoint of the audio precedes the endpoint of the video, or vice versa. Having the video and audio cut at different times can often make your scenes flow more naturally while tightening up the pacing. Here I have a sequence of three shots where Denise introduces her dog to her audience. I've applied roll colors to the clips to make what I'm about to show you more visual. Let's begin by playing back the sequence. He's got four legs. He's my best friend. He's my traveling partner. While the shots are interesting, they don't flow very well. We can improve the pacing by shifting her interview audio below the adjacent shots, the ones in green. I'll park my playhead over the interview clip, then press Ctrl S to expand the audio. For those of you who are new to Final Cut Pro, expanding the audio is the only way to have independent control over your picture and sound edits. Drag the edge of the video, you trim the picture. And drag the edge of the audio, you trim the sound. Playing back, I want to hear her first sentence as we look at the previous shot of her dog. One way to do this is to select the incoming edit point of the interview clip, then drag to the right. Because of the magnetic timeline, the audio automatically flows below the previous clip. Let's play that back. He's got four legs. He's my best friend. He's my traveling partner. Now I'll work on the opposite end of the interview. I'll select the outgoing edit point and drag to the left. Again, the audio flows exactly where it needs to go. This is why I love the magnetic timeline. I'll play that back. He's my best friend. He's my traveling partner. So not only did I remove almost two seconds from this three shot sequence, the split edits made the cut from one shot to another feel more natural. A split edit actively serves to hide the cuts because the story continuity is being driven by the dialogue. For those of you new to editing, this is one technique that will be a game changer in your storytelling. So then why do editors call these L or J cuts? Well, it has to do with the perceived shape of the edit offsets. If the audio of the previous shot overlaps the incoming picture, then visually it forms a letter L. If the audio from the incoming clip precedes the end of the outgoing clip, then visually it forms a letter J. Now you know. Before I end this tutorial, let me show you some fancy keyboard shortcuts that will improve your efficiency in creating split edits. I'll undo these last few steps. With the audio still expanded, I'll press the up arrow key to move the playhead to the incoming edit point of the interview clip. To select the video edit point, press the right bracket key. To select the audio edit point, press shift and the right bracket key. I'll press the right bracket again to select the video edit point. I'll press Command L to turn on looping, then press Shift question mark to loop playback around the edit point. He's got four legs. He's got four As legs. the video loops, press the period key to nudge the legs. edit point later in one frame increments, and the comma key to nudge the edit point earlier legs. in one frame increments. He's got four legs. Add the shift key to nudge the edit by 10 frame increments. Four legs. As you tap the key, the edit loops in real time legs. to give you a better feel for how the edit is working. Legs. Press the space bar when you're happy with your edit. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments and please give us a sub if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.